Hi folks, Gav Laird here from Forge Gym in Inverness uh, and I'm just making a little video today for the Forge Gym YouTube channel just to uh, discuss some of the really irritating myths about diet that absolutely need to find a big hole and fall into it and die in 2015. Um, this is especially for anyone who's planning to make some dietary changes next year, maybe the new year looming, you've got some resolutions or whatever. Um, hopefully uh, this will help you avoid some of the total bull that's propagated by uh, people that probably really ought to know better. Um, so we're working on the assumption you're going to be trying to get lean, you can try to lose a little bit of body fat. Uh, what's the number one myth out there? Uh, probably cardio. Um, everyone says you want to lose body fat, you need to do lots of cardio. You need to do cardio in the fat burning zone. <sighs> wow. Um, and you're going to be doing that fairly frequently. Now, in truth, um, working at that relatively low intensity in the quote-unquote fat-burning zone is utterly shit for making changes in body composition. Doing a lot of cardio has massive negative hormonal uh, impact on your body. Really about the worst thing you could possibly be doing if you're trying to get lean. Um, so that's our first thing. If you think you're going to do 40 minutes of steady state cardio every day and it's going to get you ripped, um, you're on an absolute loser. You'd be far better off spending your time doing some high intensity weight training with relatively short rest periods or sprint work or slide drags, something a little bit more intensity. Second one, um, gosh, I'm trying to think, there's so many. Um, meal timing. Meal timing would be a brilliant one just to get put to bed right now. Um, this whole slew of shit about, you know, I don't eat after 6 p.m. or don't eat carbs after 4 or anything along those lines. All of these things revolve around very short-term responses to food intake. Okay, so you're thinking, well, if I don't eat at night, I won't have very many calories going in. I'm then just going to sleep and rest, so it should balance out a little bit better. But fat loss doesn't occur over a short time period of 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours to any meaningful degree. Look at it over a 24 hour period. Look at it over a longer period. If I have two people, they're both eating the same amount of calories and burning the same amount of calories, it does not matter one iota whether they have those calories at 2 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the evening, or whenever else. They're going to lose the same amount of body fat. Simple as that. So, any dogmatic crap like that that tells you you have to eat at a specific time or something won't happen, <coughs> probably not. Related one um, meal frequency. A lot of time people say, oh, I need to eat every two to three hours to keep my metabolism from going fast. Um, again, total nonsense. If you take the same calorie intake and split it down into multiple meals, let's say we feed one guy six meals, little meals, and we feed one guy three bigger meals. Again, as long as the overall calorie and macronutrient content are the same, those two guys are going to get identical results. Near as damn it. Not going to make any difference at all. Um, this is pretty simply because in the short term when you eat, you have a small rise in elevated metabolic rate. You also have a small rise in the storage of fat because you're putting in food. Okay, If the meal is small, both those things will be small. If the meal is big, both those things will be big. All right? So all that happens there is if we eat small, frequent meals, we have several short-term, small increases in metabolic rate. And if we eat a few bigger meals, we have a few bigger, longer-term changes. And it balances out exactly the damn same. So eat. Meal frequency, whatever suits you. Timing, whenever suits you. Doesn't make any difference at all. Make it work around about your life, around about your work schedule, around about your family commitments, such that you can stick with it. Okay? Related note, protein intake. There's a whole lot of crap spouted about how I need to take in protein every two to three hours as well. Now, um, people think this because they think, well, I've got to keep amino acids coming into the body. I've got to keep feeding my, my, my muscle tissue so my body doesn't use it for an energy source. That's sensible enough. But given that whole food protein sources typically digest at a rate between 6 and 10 grams per hour, you're not going to need more protein every three hours. Nothing like it. If you've had a whole food meal containing 50 grams of protein, a mix of carbohydrates and fats, 10 hours later that will still be seeping out into the system. It does not happen in the short term period. So again, if you want to eat most of your protein in one very large meal, that will be fine. If you want to eat your protein in small individual meals, that will also be fine. Do what works for you, what suits you in terms of your scheduling and what helps you regulate your appetite and your hunger level um, and fuel your training as best as you can.
Some people feel much better on multiple small meals. Some people like myself prefer just a couple of larger meals per day. It doesn't make any difference. All right. Related note, there are periods of time when the best thing you can be doing is not eating at all. All right, there is absolutely no harm in going for several hours through the day without food intake. In fact, I would recommend that most people would probably benefit by bringing their food intake into a shorter time period rather than grazing throughout the day. There's a myriad of reasons for that, but bottom line, fairly simply put, if you want to skip breakfast and don't start eating until later in the day, that's fine. All right. No worries at all. If you want to consume most of your calories last thing at night, that's also fine. In fact, guarantee quality of sleep, quality of rest probably going to be better. Hormonal output will probably be better. And you might actually end up being a little bit leaner than if you consume the majority of your calories first thing in the morning. So, there you go. Basically, it's down to you how you distribute your food intake. The overall calorie content and macronutrient content is going to determine the result, not when you had it or how frequently you had it. So if you're given a meal schedule that does not fit in with your lifestyle, it's extremely difficult to implement, and you can't possibly do it, don't do it, because it isn't going to bring you any benefit that a different meal schedule couldn't have provided. Alright, hope that makes things easier for you this year. Take care. Cheers.